Hi, this is Rachel with Everything Nativity, and I am super excited to share this box opening with you. I just got this box from a family member who ordered this item for me online because they had a coupon for this website, and I did not. I thought that was extremely nice of them. And thank you also to Venmo for letting me catch up with them on that. This is a big old box. <laughs> it is the other grandeur noel oh no <laughs> i think i now have two of these but the other one's not here and this one is so we'll start with that that was a lot of nice cushioning in here with the foam what a great idea so this is the nine piece porcelain nativity set grandeur noel these are made every year and I've opened one so far, the 2003, and I found it to be an absolutely exquisite piece. Now, obviously, somebody got this for $19.99, not me, but did get a good deal on it. So Grandeur Noel Collector's Edition, $19.99. Nine hand-painted porcelain nativity figurines emphasize the focal point of Christmas with this elegant hand-painted porcelain piece, nine-piece nativity set. This set includes the figures Mary, Joseph, Baby Jesus, Three Wise Men, a Shepherd, Donkey, and Camel. Arrange them in your favorite location, why wouldn't we? On a mantle, end table, or as a centerpiece for your holiday entertaining. And they have this set up here with a little centerpiece and some candles, and that's very, very pretty. This box is a little damaged, so hopefully what's inside is not. Now these have the big molded styrofoam, so usually that is not a problem. So we'll pull this out. Come on! Unboxing these big ones on camera is not as elegant as you might think. Now, what I will note about this one is that the box is completely, the styrofoam is completely together. The last one I had, the styrofoam wasn't completely together. I think that's because some of the pieces inside were not turned exactly the right way. And because of that, when I first opened it and moved a piece, a hand knocked off of one of them. So you have to be very careful when you have these sets that you are able to get the pieces in just so. What I mean by that is this. So these pieces have to be turned just the right way for them to fit. Now this is great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they're counting the baby Jesus in the crash as one piece. And I like that. Ooh, the shepherd. The last one that I opened, the shepherd, was more like a renaissance type figure. This looks more like a true Bible time character. I like that. There's a lot of detail in here. With, excuse me, the cross hatching. It's got some texture to it. This is a really big piece. His little green robe. He's holding his sheep. His hands are slightly lifted up off that sheep there. So that's a piece that you'd have to be really careful about not breaking. What a handsome little shepherd. I like that these are individually wrapped, so they're nice and protected. So I guess what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just lay them out. You know, I really ought to do a reboxing video. Oh, wow. This guy's got some extra little stuff on him. Mary. Oh, 
think these were the bags that were created for this, but it is a nice touch when the solar wraps things nicely and goes the extra mile. I like it. A lot of times people will, on these things, you'll see, even if you look on eBay or whatever, you'll see that they've written which way, and I've done that before too, written in Sharpie, which way the piece turns. I'm like, wise men with hand pointing up, or, you know, shepherd face down, <laughs> whatever it is I need to help me remember it. Okay, I'm excited to do this. That is a very pretty baby Jesus. Wow, look at the detail on those little fingers sticking up. Little blanket. It's got a hole in the back. Now these pieces, I will say, they do seem more fragile to me than some of the other nativities. And I know you're probably thinking, what in the world nativities are fragile? You know, of course. But it's just the way it feels like you could just at any moment it could just like bump against another piece and break whereas other ones you can knock them together and they they survive and here's the little crush lots of detail there I want the little blanket and then you know which way to hold them and put them in there because of that he looks like he's just one piece at that point. That is really cute. And you hear that sound? That's the sound I don't like to hear on these pieces. It's just they're that, that hollow, I'm going to break kind of sound. <laughs> that is a beautiful camel. But aren't they always? Look at the detail. Look at the tassels and the gold. And these tassels coming down off the blanket, more than one saddle blanket, and then the little cushion on top. This is a very wise camel because he's got a little gray hair right there. And this is a really big set. The Grandeur Noels always are. See how big that is? But that's beautiful. Let's take a look at the, the donkey. Let's take a look at the donkey. Wow, he's got the extra little touch right here. My favorite nativity of all time, I've owned it twice now, was the first one I ever got and it has um, cloth and sometimes when I'm looking at these online, I can't tell. I have to zoom in really far to see if they have cloth because the detail is just so good on these. But here they've actually added a um, textile detail there. It's got the two water jugs. They're hollow. Look at that detail along there. It's really pretty. Just resting after his long journey, carrying the Holy Family to Bethlehem. And we've got Mary. And again, that cross hatching, she's got a little, we'll do that there. Her delicate little fingers are all intact. Oh, I thought that one was broken, but it's not. Just a really short pinky from that angle. You can pose her to just be beholding the child, like everyone. So, we've got one, two, three wise men. This must be Joseph. He's got the sandals on. Kind of looks like he might be the innkeeper. On the Avon Nativities, the one holding the little lamp like that is called the innkeeper. But I guess when you have a nine piece nativity, they do double duty. It says, oh, well, on the bottom. China, oh, well. 
Got a little striped tunic underneath his robes. Is that called a tunic? I think so. Nice pointed beard. Good detail on the face. Good coloring there on the hands. Oh, that's a pretty piece. And this wise man, oh, I haven't seen this yet, this really big ornate horn. That's an unusual piece for me to have seen on a nativity. It's got the little goatee going on, probably shielding his hand from the light, from the star. And then that little horn has some kind of design on it. I wonder if it means anything or they just made it up. It's really cool how they have the different colors there. And this is like a um, matte paint, and this one's a shiny, so it gives it a lot of contrast. You can hear that hollow sound on these pieces. Cute. Do we do you? The wise man with the stars. Looks like a very wealthy wise man. He's got the gold robes. The rounded turban. That's a beautiful blue. <laughs> nice. And again, the pink on the hands. And this is, the, the seller said that this was in perfect condition. And it actually is. It's I can't find any chips or anything wrong with it. That's really nice. It's beautiful. And then the last wise men. The kneeling wise men. It's a lot of pretty colors on these. You can see when you turn them over on the robes, that deep, deep blue, that yellow, the red and black. Those are really beautiful. This is a really, really pretty nativity set. This would look great on a mantle or displayed with some greenery behind it to give it some contrast. See what I mean? That does not sound good. I don't like it. I need things to be a little hardy for me. I'm a little hard on things. The wise men over here, Mary and Joseph. I'll bring this down. <laughs> what a pretty set. Now, we can try and put it back in, but nah, that would be boring. But I'm Rachel from Everything Nativity. This is the 1999 Grandeur Noel Collector's Edition. And I open Nativity, I buy Nativities and I open them for you. Thanks for watching.